He's able, abundantly able, to deliver and to save. God is able, abundantly able, to deliver those who trust in Him. On a day like this, we declare that the earth is the Lord's and the fullness in it, the world and they that inhabit in it, all tribe, all tongue, all people, all nation belong to the Lord. For of the increase of his government, there shall be no end. To God be all the glory for the day 37 that we have to pray for our nation. And you're welcome to this platform once again as we have been praying the prayers of the 50 days fasting and prayers of the redeemed Christian Church of God. I believe God as always that everything that we have said in his years concerning our lives, our families, God will bring them to pass in the name of Jesus. After these prayers every single day, testimonies will follow, answers will follow, and our joy will be full in the name of Jesus. My name is Olumide Odessoya. If this is your first time on this channel, please like this video, share with your family and friends, and subscribe to this channel as we pray all these prayers throughout this fasting and prayer. Today being the 37th day of our fasting and prayer, the prayer focus is prayer for God's protection in nations. Prayer for God's protection in nations. Most high God, we worship you. You are the governor amongst all nations. All power belongs to you. In you, all things consist. You reign and you rule over all. You are the sovereign God. Blessed be your holy name. Father, Lord, as we intercede on behalf of our nation and other nations of the world for your protection and for your divine intervention. Father, please show up in your majesty and do the impossible. Show your power in our nations, in our lands, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. So our focus text for today's prayer point is taken from 1 Kings chapter 3. 1 Kings chapter 13, verse 1 to 5. 1 Kings chapter 13, verse 1 to 5. And it says, And behold, there came a man of God out of Judah by the word of the Lord unto Bethel. And Jeroboam stood by the altar to burn incense. And he cried against the altar in the word of the Lord and said, O altar, altar, thus saith the Lord, Behold, a child shall be born unto the house of David, Josiah by name, and upon thee shall he offer the priest of the high places that burn incense upon thee, and a man's bones shall be burned upon thee. And he gave a sign the same day, saying, This is the sign which the Lord hath spoken. Behold, the altar shall be rent. And the ashes that are upon it shall be poured out. And it came to pass, when King Jeroboam heard the saying of the man of God, which had cried against the altar in Bethel, that he put forth his hand to him. He put forth his hand from the altar, saying, Lay hold on him and his hand, which he had put forth against him, dried up, so that he could not put it in again to him. Verse 5. The altar also was rent, and the ashes poured out from the altar, according to the sign which the man of God had given by the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. What an awesome story. That God, the real God, the true God, the living God, is the one in charge of altars. And when we cry unto him, when we cry and look up to him against every negative, wicked, demonic altars, he will answer and he will shatter those altars in the name of Jesus. For any nation to enjoy peace and safety, there are altars in those nations that must be pulled down altars raised to the wicked gods in those nations, powers and principalities that are ruling those nations. For safety and peace to reign, they must be pulled down. And as we pray this prayer over this nation, Nigeria, and over your nation, wherever you're watching and praying this prayer from, 
the evil altars erected by the enemy, by the devil, by the host of darkness, shall be pulled down in the name of Jesus. Amen. So our first prayer point says we should bless the Lord, that everything within us should bless his holy name. Lord, we bless your holy name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name, O Lord. We bless your name, Lord, we bless your name. Blessed be your name, O Lord. Lord, everything within us bless you. You are worthy to receive our praise. Our heart bless you. Our spirit bless you. Our souls bless you. Our bloodstream bless you. The water in our bodies bless you. Our bones bless you. Our muscles bless you. Our bloodstream bless you. Our ears bless you. Our eyes bless you. Our mouth bless you. Our minds bless you. Our brains bless you. Every part of our bodies, our hands, our legs, all parts of our bodies. Lord, we used to bless you. Be worthy. You are worthy of our praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank God for a new day and for the salvation of your soul. Lord, we thank you again and again for this day of this fasting and prayer, the 37th day. Thank you, Lord, for the salvation of our souls. Thank you for keeping us safe, for keeping us from all evils of the day of the night, from all terrors. Lord, we appreciate you for redeeming our lives from destruction, for giving us newness of life. Lord, we say thank you. Thank you, Lord, for this brand new day, another day to call upon you to receive answers to our prayers for ourselves, our families, the church of God, and our nations. Blessed be your name, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, we forbid any satanic backlash or retaliation against me and my family in the name of Jesus, Lord Jesus, as we pray these prayers. We refuse, we forbid any satanic backlash any agenda of the enemy to return any attack against any one of us as we intercede for our nation. Lord, we forbid the attack in the name of Jesus. Lord, there is no weapon of the enemy fashioned against us that shall prosper. We condemn every tongue that may want to rise against us by virtue of this intercession and prayers against altars in our nation in the name of Jesus. We are safe and secured in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bind and rebuke the princes and powers in charge of this nation, Nigeria. This nation, Nigeria, Lord, we bind every power. We bind every powers of the princes of the air, of the land, in the wilderness, in the forest, in the waters. Lord, we bind them in the name of Jesus. Lord, in this nation, Nigeria, and in all the cities in this nation, from Lagos to Abuja, to Port Harcourt, to Ibadan, to Jos, to Play 2, all the states in this nation, all the cities in this nation. Father, we declare in the name of Jesus that every power of the air, every power of princes of darkness, principalities, Lord, holding sway over this nation, holding grip over this nation. Father, we rebuke the activities and we bind them in the name of Jesus. Lord, we seize the oppression over this nation in the name of Jesus. Nigeria, you are delivered. Nigeria, you are set free from the hand of the strong man in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, arise in your power and deliver this nation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Command the fire of God on all the idols, traditions, sacrifices, and rituals on the land, on this nation, Nigeria, and in all the cities in this nation. Lord, we command that every idols and traditions and sacrifices and rituals, Lord, let them be destroyed. Let your fire raise them down. Let your fire consume them to ashes. Let your fire destroy them totally. Lord, irreversibly, every power. Lord, Lord, every force, every idol, every tradition and sacrifices, evil demonic rituals in this nation. Father, Lord, we ask that the fire of the Holy Ghost, fire before the Lord, the consuming fire, like it came down in the time of Elijah. 
Lord, let the same fire descend upon this nation, Nigeria, and destroy every evil force, evil traditions, every rituals, every killings, every effect of sacrificing to strange gods. Lord, every wicked sacrifices. Lord, we command their destruction by fire now over this nation, Nigeria. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Pray and break all the agreements made between the people of the nation, of this nation, Nigeria, of our cities from Lagos to Abuja, from northeast to south, south to north central to northwest to southwest. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we command in Jesus' name every evil agreement with the devil, every evil agreement with forces of darkness that is holding grip over all our lands, over all our cities, towns, and villages in this nation. Lord, we destroy them. Every evil agreement, we annul them. Every evil agreement, we destroy them. In the name of Jesus, every evil agreement between forces of darkness to keep Nigeria in bondage, to keep our nation in bondage, to keep our cities in bondage. Lord, we are null by the blood of Jesus. We destroy by the blood of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. O oh Lord, we dedicate and claim this nation, Nigeria, for God in the name of Jesus. Lord, we dedicate Nigeria for you. Lord, we dedicate our cities from Lagos to Potako to Abuja to Oyo to Benin to Edo. Lord, all across the northern region, all across the southern region, the western region, the eastern region. Lord, we declare, Lord, that you will take over this nation. We dedicate this nation to you. We release this nation for you. Jesus, the reigning king, Jesus Power in heaven and on earth has been given unto you. Rule over this nation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number eight. We say, Father, we destroy and decree total removal of our sins, strikes, juvenile delinquencies, lawlessness, nakedness, pornography, immoralities, homosexuality, and drug addiction from this nation, Nigeria, and from all our cities in the name of Jesus. Father, we destroy and we decree the total removal of drug abuse, of arson, of addictions, of strikes, of juvenile delinquencies, of lawlessness and corruption, of nakedness and reproach, of pornography and immoralities, homosexuality, lesbianism, Lord, all manner of evil acts in this nation. Father, we command that they shall stop in the name of Jesus. Lord, we decree upon this nation freedom from all these social evil demonic vices destroying the destinies of men in the name of Jesus over your life and your family we destroy their hold of all these negative demonic vices of addictions of immorality pornography evil thought evil works of the enemy we destroy their hold over you and your family in the name of Jesus receive freedom and liberation in the name of Jesus so shall it be in Jesus name we pray amen let us prophesy against all the satanic altars in high places in the nation Nigeria to be consumed by fire of God and their ashes blown away by the east wind in the name of Jesus father Lord we prophesy against every satanic altars raised against the peace of this nation satanic altars raised in high places low places on earth underneath the earth in the forest in the waters wherever they may be every satanic altars raised against this nation lord we consume them by the fire of the holy ghost into ashes and let your east wind blow right now and blow them away forever in the name of the Lord Jesus, Shakabo Supranakato Shadabali Gedebu, every demonic wicked altar speaking against the peace, progress, and prosperity of Nigeria. We declare that the fire of God will consume you to ashes now in the name of Jesus, and the east wind from above will blow you away permanently, that this nation will be set free and set loose. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Most high God, most holy God, let the sword and the hand of the Lord be against the priests and priestesses ministering at all altars 
all these satanic altars at high places and let their places be found no more in the name of jesus Oh, holy God, oh, most high, arise in your mercy, arise in your power against every priest and priestesses administering evil sacrifices on these strange demonic altars in this nation. Lord, people manifesting as false prophet, fake prophet, people manifesting as herbalists, as workers of iniquity that the devil is using to service all these altars. Let an end come to them now, an altar permanent permanent end. Let it come to them now in the name of Jesus. All forces of darkness monitoring and supervising wicked altars against this nation. Lord, let them be burnt into ashes. Let an end come to all these forces in the priest and the priestesses mounting them in the name of Jesus. Every evil altar raised against you and your family against your life and everyone supervising those altars. The consuming fire of God will descend upon them right now and consume them. We terminate their tenure, we terminate the oppression, we say they shall be no more in Jesus' name. You are free in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. We say, by the power in the name of Jesus, we silence every evil directive from all satanic altars and high places over our nation and all our cities in the name of Jesus, by the power in the name of Jesus, the name that conquers Satan, the name that is above every other name. We command every satanic injunctions and directives released either through spoken words or through demonic activities over this nation, Nigeria, and over all our cities, our towns, our villages. Lord, we command that all this power be silenced in the name of Jesus, all these powers be broken in pieces and shattered in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, we overcame by the blood of the Lamb. Lord, we command that your blood will flow right now over this nation. Your blood will flow into all our cities. Your blood will flow into all our towns and villages in the name of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus flow on your behalf to conquer every demonic directives of the enemy spoken against your life, spoken against your family, the ones spoken against the peace of this nation. Let your blood silence them and let victory be delivered to us, O oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number 12, you say, Father, let all causes brought about by ritual sacrifices and satanic tokens be revoked in the name of Jesus. Lord, we command your blessing upon this nation that every force of causes that have been released upon this nation, let it be revoked, let it be revoked, let it be revoked in the name of Jesus. Every curse, every word of curse spoken upon the ground of Nigeria. Lord, the blood that speaketh better thing than that of Abel, speak up right now, speak up right now and reverse every contrary word against the unity, the peace and progress of this nation in the name of Jesus. Every negative word spoken into your life as you pray this prayer, those negative words are returned to sender, the effect are nullified forever in the name of Jesus. You are blessed, you are blessed, your family is blessed, the work of your hand is blessed, Nigeria is blessed in the name of Jesus. Lord, we are liberated permanently from any yoke of demonic curses. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Finally, you will declare that henceforth Jesus Christ is the Lord over this nation, Nigeria. Lord, we declare that you are the Lord, you are the Lord, you are the Lord, the Lord of hosts himself. You are the Lord over this nation, Nigeria. Lift up your heads, O ye gate, and be lifted up ye everlasting doors, that the King of glory might come in. Lift up your heads, O ye gate of Nigeria. Every stronghold of Nigeria, lose your hold and let the King of glory take over. Jesus, you are the Lord of this nation. Jesus, you are the Lord of our lives. You are the Lord of our homes. You are the Lord of our families. You are the Lord of our ministries. You are the Lord of our businesses. You are the Lord of the church. In the name of Jesus, we declare you faithful. We declare you righteous to rule and reign over the affairs of this nation. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 
Father, Lord, we thank you for answers to our prayers because you have prevailed over this nation against every adversary, against every enemy, against the forces of darkness manifesting in strange altars. Lord, we thank you because your power is taking charge. Your power is prevailing over this nation in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. And for everyone that I join in praying this prayer, I pray, Lord Jesus, that your power will work on their behalf against all satanic powers, against all forces of darkness and you will walk in total freedom and in total victory in jesus mighty name we are pray amen glory be to jesus thank you for joining me today to pray these prayers one more time my name is olumidi odesson if it is your first time here please like this video share with your friends and subscribe to this channel in the description space below we're going to be putting other prayer points of previous days before now you can also take time to pray them into your life and into your family God bless you. If Jesus tarries, I'll be here again with you tomorrow in Jesus' name.